Noah Gregson has been in the NASCAR headlines for the past couple of days, and this isn't a shade of a new concept for the NASCAR fandom. Since Gregson rose to prominence, he has been a polarizing driver. Some love him. His personality is always on his sleeve, and his sound bites are about as frequent as the bump and run at Bristol. Others hate him. His aggressive driving is abrasive to those who are not fans of his, and his social media antics grow on many's nerves. In many ways, he's like the 2020s version of a young Kyle Busch, but in many ways also, he's the driver that most fans claim they want in NASCAR. Ask any fan who has watched either the Truck Series or the Xfinity Series over the past half decade or so, and you will have nearly every one of them with some sort of opinion on the young driver. It's exactly what NASCAR wants, and it's exactly what NASCAR needs. He's a driver who truly moves the needle for the lower series. Outside of cup drivers bushwhacking, I have never seen a lower series driver basically gain a cult following of his detractors. Look at any comment section on social media when Gregson is a subject. And for every supportive comment or tweet or whatever, there is always one that is absolutely sick of him. Honestly, it's really impressive to be completely real with you. Not many drivers can tap into the emotional psyche of the NASCAR fandom like that. So let's look at some of these incidents and traits more in depth. The thing you need to know about Gregson is that he lives in the moment. So when you see his balls to the wall attitude about the sport, it really shouldn't be a surprise. To start with, just look at his interviews after rough moments in his career or bad races or bad moments. 34 laps to Noah, I don't even know where to start with that. What, how do you comprehend what just happened when you were leading this race? What are you gonna do? You got dipshits in the way every single week, but... Uh... Just frustrated at myself, I don't know. Um, I, was, I was pretty tight there at the end. I seen Alfredo holding holding Harrison off and uh, and thought we were getting away. And then I seen the 20 get by the 21 and he ran me down in like two two laps. And I knew he was coming. Um, I just didn't expect him to get there. Um, fuck, I don't know. Or, sorry, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know what? Are these moments appropriate? Probably not. Are they fun? Hell yes. So the Texas one was a basically in the heat of the moment kind of thing. And it's understandable since he and he alone gave up a win in the last corner of the last lap of the race. But the dipshit comment, well, those ones may have been the wrong call. And I think he went a little too far there. After all, David Starr was running 12th really well at a Above where he usually runs and where usually that car runs. He's not going to sabotage his great run if he knew his tire was corded going down. Gregson also went after them on social media as well as others. And this is where Gregson gets his hate from. And in my honest opinion, while he's right about being mad, he's 100% in the wrong about how he handled it. And I think that is really where fans have a big problem with him. In a lot of ways, on social media, he can act like a bit of a brat. And at this point, in his words, he said, I don't really feel any differently about what happened. I mean, I give him credit. He'll stay by his gun, so good on him there. But like I said, I do think he's wrong there. In response to Gregson's initial comments, Carl Long, the owner of Star's Car, called him an over-entitled mouthpiece. And this is another place that many are split on Gregson, how he got where he is today. It's not much a secret that Gregson came from a pretty good familial financial background. This has split many as, in this regard, most can't relate to him the same way they can with other drivers. It makes it at least fun to watch the fans bicker amongst each other on social media. But I do have to say that it's unfair criticism in my opinion. Gregson can't help where he came from. He's put together a respectable career, and thus far, he has really needed to be judged based on that career, not on what his family does off the track. I think that's a completely stupid way to look at a driver. And what can be judged, as I somewhat expressed before, is his aggression on the racetrack. 
Gregson will do anything to win, and many times, he truly embodies the checkers or wreckers mentality that many want in a driver. Look at this as an example. These boys are pouring it all in. Oh, Look at there this. we go, Gregson yeah, on the inside. Buddy. Here comes Noah Gregson looking for his second win of the year side by side He's got with the his preferred teammate. lane. He's got the preferred lane if he can just hold on to the bottom here. I don't know if the 11 can, can run five more Look laps. Look at that, he's oh. just sliding him oh. in there. Oh. Moved Contact. him out of the way. Teammates. Allgaier into the wall. Oh. Briscoe through to second, and now Allgaier no. spins. No. Gregson's aggression will be dealt to anyone, even his JR Motorsports teammates. And his aggression even had to be addressed in 2020 by his boss, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm in the, I'm in the NBC uh, booth doing the Xfinity race, and Noah gets into the back of that 18 car, and I was in a position where, hey, um, you know, I'm a car owner, uh, but when I get in that booth, I have to take that hat off, and now i got to yep. call it straight. I can't insulate my guy. Noah run over him. Uh, the, the, the 18's loose going up the track, checking up, checking up. Noah, you know, gets in the back of him. So I told Noah, well, I did have a conversation with him. Um, I said, hey, man, I said, you're having a great year. Uh, I said, but think about it like this. Like, that happened on lap five. Everybody saw it. I had to say, look, it was early. That was uh, something that shouldn't happen that soon in the race. And I had to call it like I saw it, right? If your own boss has to go on his show, the most popular NASCAR show really on the internet, to address this, you're doing something right in my opinion. Because in modern NASCAR, for the most part, unless you pull a Kyle Larson incident, all publicity is good. There's always something that's going on with Noah Gregson. The only major hang-up that I have, and I think it's relatively small compared to other drivers, but personally, my only hang-up is his social media presence. Social media can be a wonderful thing when it comes to the information gathering, when it comes to sports or anything in general when done right, but it can be a nightmare in this highly corporatized era. And if you say the wrong thing, or if you have the wrong sponsor, for instance, the mob will come after you for blood. The way I see it, though, with Gregson, he's a driver that just needs to smooth out some rough edges. I don't want him really to change in his core at all. He's fun as hell to watch. He makes it fun, and it's entertaining. Anything around Noah Gregson will be entertaining. If he's in an interview with us, it's an entertaining interview for me and the audience. If he's on the track, it's entertaining to see the fan reaction. He is in my opinion, the most entertaining driver that NASCAR has, not only in the Xfinity series, in general. But that's just my take on it. Now, I want to pass this all on to you. What's your honest opinion of Noah Gregson? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you love him? Do you hate him? Seriously, leave your honest take. Just please try to be at least a little respectful. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Let me know down there, though. Then, while you're at it, leave a like on this video. Share this video and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content. And until next time, have a good one.